Bible Church. Choir, please, can you come back? Ah. <laughs> can we stand to our feet? Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. The first thing I want us to do this morning is to just thank God. Let us just say that way. Thank, I thank you for another opportunity to hear your word. That I give you all the glory. My heart is open. My eyes are open. My heart is receptive to your word. I keep your word. I'm a doer of your word. I love you, Jesus. That we worship you. May Brado Shia Sayala Dosha. May they are all Shia Tati Barada Dosha. That we thank you. Amen. Uh, this morning, the Lord just laid in my heart that we should take two prayers. The first one is for Nigeria. And this, the, uh, the way the Lord um, brought it was that, if you remember the story, um, was it in Samaria, when there was scarcity, there was famine in the land, and the Lord, okay, and the king, you know, there were, there were these two women that were eating their children, if you remember that story, you know, and the king, when he had that story, the Bible said he, he was so sad, he tore his clothes and he said, is there no prophet in this land? Is Elisha still in this land? Is a man of God still in this land? My question to us, Nigeria, <laughs> Nigeria is going down. And that is the truth. And if it's about I have the spirit of God and I have God with me. The truth is, sincerely, I won't lie to you. This period, myself and my family, the Lord has been helping us. I'm not, we are not witnessing the, the pain, the way people are saying it. But we are trying to empathize. Hallelujah. And that is how it is for the children of God. Right? The Lord keeps his own. Even in times of difficulty. But do we say because we are prospering in this period, we will not pray for the prosperity of Nigeria. And the Bible is clear in 1 Timothy chapter 2, he said that, he said, I beseech you therefore that all prayer and supplication and testimony will be made for all men, for kings and those in authority, that we may live a godly and peaceable life. And he said, this is the will of God, that he would have all men to be saved, and they come to the knowledge of the truth. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. We want to pray for Nigeria. Lord, reign in Nigeria. Reign in our affairs. Reign in the hearts of our kings and the people in authority. Put your fear in their heart. In the name of Jesus. Lord, take over Nigeria. Nigeria must not go down. In the name of Jesus. Is the church, is there any church in Nigeria? Is there any man of God in Nigeria? Are there children of God in Nigeria? Because of us, Nigeria must prosper. Because of us, our dwellings must prosper. We are not just trying to be selfish. But because for our sake, the Lord, we have mercy over this nation. Your mercy will reign over our nation. Your mercy will reign over this nation. Nigeria, you stand in the name of Jesus. Brizoka Tadira Disha, Bregedisia Tageba, Asi Kaderia Dosha. They say Nigeria is one of the churches with largest number of Christians, largest number of churches. Oh, many of us we pray, many of us we go to church. But there must be an evidence in the affairs of this nation. Oh, Lord, we ask in your mercy and in your power, in your strength and in your grace, oh, reign over Nigeria. Reign in our affairs. 
For you told Nebuchadnezzar, he said, for you still reign in the affairs of men. Lord, reign in our affairs in this land. In the name of Jesus, reign in our affairs. Oh, we prosper. We prosper in Nigeria. We prosper in Nigeria. We reverse the hands of the enemy. We reverse the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Nigeria, reign of our families. You reign, King Jesus, you reign, 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 your mercy. You reign. to your neighbor and say, be happy. Turn to your neighbor again and say, be happy. Be happy. I, I, I didn't say, don't worry, because already it's as if you are singing a song. <laughs> say it again, be happy. be happy. You know, the normal response from the neighbor should be a smile. If that neighbor is not giving you a smile, say it again, be happy. Hallelujah. Can we clap for Jesus? Can we have our seat? You're welcome to church. Thank you. Are we ready for the word of God? Okay, can we bring out our Bibles and our writing materials? Uh, I've been mandated to speak on joy and happiness. And there are many things we can discuss if the time permits. We would have started from definition and all that. Maybe we'll still take definition. And, but what I want to narrow down is going to be a question for us. So the, you can title it, what is the source of your joy? What is the source of my joy? So personalize it. What is the source of my joy? And try not to be spiritual about it. You know, because we are in church and because we know the right answer to give to some answers. We hide the truth in our heart. So, it's very easy for you to say, oh, what is the source of my joy? Are you right there, Jesus? But, truthfully, truthfully, I can watch this she know it. What gives us joy is when they share money in church, not when they share the word. Am I, what, which one gives you joy? When you say, it's time for money sharing. You will see there is natural, that joy is just natural. You are not forcing it. You are not forcing it. But when they say it's time for the word. I'll come on here for long. Hallelujah. If you can answer that question before now, before we go on, you can answer, answer your own there. What is the source of your joy? Answer it there. 
write something there. It might take you some time to think over it. What is the source of my joy? Um, marriage, have you? You are thinking about it. Okay. Um, I thought marriage is, well, marriage is good. Marriage is a, is a source of joy or can be a source of joy. Um, having money can be a source of joy. Um, having good children, brilliant children. Um, daddy was very proud of um, Joseph. Not only that he graduated, but with a first class. And for some of us that didn't graduate with first class, I went, yeah, me, go me, go me, you know. But the truth is, if you were the one, you'll be very, very happy. Yes or no? In fact, some of us, we are already telling our children, yo, did sorry, kolori meji because as a parent, there is a joy it brings when your children, they are doing well. Yes or no? Good. So it can be a source of joy. Enjoyment. Igbadu. Oh, I'm there. Saturday, Saturday uh, celebration. Some of us, we have more oh, uh, as should be than any other thing in our life. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm, I don't have anybody in mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> because one way or the other, we've discovered that when there is an occasion, nothing can stop it. That is why I'm a wedding, I'm a wedding. We must do it. Because there's just this pleasure and joy celebration gives. We want to celebrate. We always want to eat. Every Sunday, let it be a, a moment of celebration. We, oh, there is a, you know, you just enter the church and this, this setting is not like this. You see a table in front of each chair. Just not everybody is happy. So celebration, you know, on, on Friday evening, you know, you should just go out with your family, you know, or with your wife, just go to a cool place, you know, just sit down and relax, you know, maybe you just go, maybe on a vacation, you go, just go travel out, you know, see, sit, you know, those things we watch in the movies, you know, you just sit by the beach, you know, and your life is just good. Who doesn't like it? If you don't like it, raise your hand. Okay, good. So we like it. So the first question I'll ask, is it bad? Is it bad? No, it's not. It's not. Say it's not. It's not bad. Money. Owoni kini. Owoni kini apaye. Owoni keke yirere. Abi, is it in the scripture? Yes or no? Let us do. It's not in the scripture. No, it's in the scripture. It's there. Ecclesiastes, it's there. Yes. Okay, okay. it's not keke yirere. No, it's not keke yirere. Money and sight all things. Yes, it's true. It's true. It's true. Thank you, mommy. Okay. So, why is keke yirere in English? Uh, mommy, is the... Is the vehicle of the, the bicycle of the of the gospel? <laughs> oh goodness! By the way, uh, money is not the bicycle of the gospel. The power of God is the bicycle of the gospel. Hallelujah! So if you f you are fond of using that statement to justify whatever reasons, stop it. The power of God, he said. And you shall be endued with power from an eye after the Holy Spirit has what come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Acts 1 8. You shall be witnesses unto me. He said, from Jerusalem to Judea, from to Samaria, and not to what? Uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. He said, 30 years until you are what? Endued with power. See, preaching is very easy. Power is not, is not very easy. So it's very easy for me to tell somebody, oh, Jesus loved you. He died on the cross of Calvary. But Jesus Christ made it clear to us, to his disciples, that 
you need power to do this thing. Say power. So we're talking about money. Plenty money in our account. Some of us, it's not like we need money for anything, but we just like to see it in our account. If there's a peace of mind, there's a peace of mind that when you, when anything is coming, you just know there is backup. Once that, it seems as if you are spending that money, you are just 5,000, 2,000, 5,000. On Lolle, there is a way you become very agitated. You are you are losing. It's almost like you are losing your rest. You are losing your peace. You be, how can this money replenish? I need to be doing something that I will just be sleeping. That is why when you go online now, one of the things that is very now to make money while you sleep. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is money good? Is money good? Yes. Yes. Money is good. If money no day. Remember as this church day before now. Abi? Cheruku ma boa. Abi? Am I am I communicating? Now you can bring somebody and say, come to my church. Eh? Kilon Soro. Ewolo Soro. Hallelujah. So money is good. But the Bible is clear. It said the love of money. The Bible is clear on covetousness. And sometimes these definitions is not always clear to us. But the fear, and why I'm talking about these things is that the question is, hope these things are good, that are good, that I've mentioned that are good, hope they are not the source of your joy. They are good. But the question is, hope is not the source of your joy. How do I mean? Whether I have money or I don't have money, I still rejoice. It might be difficult, but I still rejoice. When things are going down, I still what? But if I leave it at that, I might not have said anything. But what I want to help us to understand, or what the, I trust the Spirit of God will be helping us to understand today is that joy comes first from the inside. Right? Joy is inside out, not outside in. You can take that down. Joy is inside out. Not outside in. And I will explain, I will look and we will look at scriptures. I hope I have not gone beyond myself. Hallelujah. So, if at all, if we didn't get to finish, that is what we will be trying to see. What do we mean? If you have questions, we will take questions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, if time permits. So let us take our first scripture, Romans 14, 17. If you are there, you can read Romans 14, 17. Okay, I'm there. For the kingdom of who? For the kingdom of who? Is not what? Meat and drink, but what? Righteousness, peace, and what? And joy, where? Joy in money, joy in friends, joy in family, ah, joy in visa and Eh? If I give you visa, would you reject? But some of us are not happy being a Nigerian. You have asked God several, Lord, why, why, why this country? Hallelujah. It says, righteousness, peace, and what? Joy in the Holy Ghost. 
Understand that Christianity is about these three things. Christianity is about what? These three things. And surprisingly, these three things are gifts. Gifts that has been purchased for us by who? By Jesus. He said, my peace, I what? I shake in it. I give unto you. Let's check another scripture. I'll just take some scripture. We can take, take it down because of time. Matthew 6, 33. Seek it for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all what? All these things, not other things, all these things. There are some things they have been talking about, right? All these things shall be what? Shall be added. But you know, the problem with that scripture, for many of us that love that scripture and we use it, is that our focus is on all these things. So we seek the kingdom. Do we understand? The reason for seeking the kingdom is because of all these things. And if that is what you are doing, already you are already wrong. Because seeking the kingdom of God, right, is clear in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It said, but without faith, it is what? Impossible to please God. For those that come to him must what? Must first believe that what? He is and is a rewarder of those that what? Seek who? Okay. So many times, what we're actually seeking, in looking at that scripture, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. What are we seeking? The kingdom of God. The word seek there is, means going about, desiring. Everything that revolves around your life is all about the kingdom. That is all you are concerned about. He now says that all these things will be added. It's not the other way around. We are, we, what we do is we have the scripture and we do activities. But while we are doing that activities, our eyes is not on Jesus. It's on, it's on what he holds the, or his pocket. You know when somebody puts his hands in the pocket and wants to bring out something for you? Where would your eyes be? On his, on his eyes? Where would your eyes be? Naturally, your, your eyes will go down just the way his hand is moving. It now brings out an envelope. Already, what would be happening inside of you? You'll be looking at the size. <laughs> but you see that envelope. Toba every dada. Aha. Hallelujah. First John 2, 15, 17. Love not the world and the things in the world. He said, if you love the world, he said, the love of the Father is not in you. He said, what are the things in the world? He said, the lust of the eyes, the love of flesh, pride of life. He says that the world and the things in it fade, fade, they are fading away. He said, but those that dwell the will of the Father, they shall what? They shall abide forever. That is verse 17. We'll tie all the scriptures together. Luke 12, 15. Very, very important. Luke 12, 15. Luke 12, 15. We all know what is there. But I want to read it. Said, as he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life, what? Consisted not in the abundance of the things which he what? Yes. Then Jesus Christ went on to give us the parable of the rich fool. That his ground, his ground sowed plenty. And he said, ha, ah, thank you Jesus for this. Oh, glory to Jesus. Now I have plenty to eat for the rest of my life. 
And sometimes, that is how many of us think. When the Lord is blessing us with so much abundance, what we are thinking is how we want to relax and enjoy this abundance with our family for the rest of our life. So when God says everything does not belong to you, go and, give, go and donate everything to so-so person. You'll be wondering, this person is rich already now. I say, be touch that no old but we won't touch no old law. She bad that this one tight. Slow to cool. So when the Lord told the Lord Jesus told the rich young ruler, said, Give everything you have. Well, about this. The Bible said, and he left sorrowfully. Why? Why? Because he had many possessions. And the first little more test, you might want to note it down, is can you give everything? Can you? Can you give everything? First Timothy 6. I think verse 8 was saying, we brought nothing into this world. He said, we are taking nothing out. Okay, but that, I think that is verse 6 or verse 7. Verse 8 was now saying that, he said, um, for we brought nothing into, okay, verse 7, for we brought nothing into this world. And suddenly that we carry nothing out. He said, yes, thank you. He said, and having food and raiment. Having what? Food. There with what be what? Contented. Write these words down. Contentment. Satisfaction. Are you satisfied with what you have? Or you want more? <laughs> I, I will just quote the dictionary meaning of joy and happiness. It says, a feeling of extreme happiness or cheerfulness. Especially related with acquisition or expectation of something good. Emotion of being happy, prosperity, well-being, and contentment. Hallelujah. So, we discover, my point here is, joy is tied to your contentment. Is tied to your satisfaction. So we say words like, oh, if I have God, I have everything. But the truth is, is your joy actually situated in that statement? That if truly, you are derobed of everything you have in this life. And the only thing that you have is the fact that the spirit of God is still inside of you. Are you filled with joy? Are you still filled with joy? Hallelujah. Let me just conclude. There are many other scriptures. Jeremiah 9, 23 said, not, Let not the wise glory in their wisdom, the rich glory in their um, riches. He said, but let the, their boast, let their boast be that what? They know me and understand me. Hallelujah. So, let me just... I might not have enough time to go through much exegesis. Three things majorly must be the source of your joy. Three things. Three things. In other words, when you think about it, when you think about it, it should naturally bring joy. Joy is not something that has to be done on the external, then you are happy. So some of us will bring comedians to the church to come and make us laugh. And there's a place in Proverbs, I can, I, I'm not sure I have the full, if I can paraphrase, that even though you are laughing, the art knows its pain. So, the reality is still there. So, it's so, the first message is, quit looking for things to make you happy externally. Because the natural thing, anything in this world can do, is to fade. It's temporary. It does not last. The world gives joy truthfully, but it does not last. Money, they finish. Is there anything that doesn't finish? Is there anything that does not fade away? Give me one. Anything in this world that does not fade away. Give me one. Nothing. Nothing. Make sure, the first thing you want to do now is to make sure that you decide that nothing Nothing dictates my joy. 
nothing, whether I have it or I don't have it. My joy must remain constant. Said, rejoice in who? In the Lord always. Philippians 4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say what? Rejoice. Rejoice in the fact that you have Jesus. I have the Lord. Oh, I'm so happy. Woo! It's not about what I have or what I don't have. I have the Lord. I have, I have, oh, I'm filled with joy. Each time you think about the, that I have the spirit of God inside of me. I have the spirit of God inside of me. I have the spirit of God inside of me. The spirit of God is at work inside of me. Wow. That is what you needed and that was what God gave to you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I will say that again. When Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was going and was committing everything into the hands of his disciples, what did he give to them? Which instrument did he give to them? The Holy Ghost. In other words, the only instrument that you need is who? The Holy Ghost. And the major issue is that where is the Holy Ghost situated? Huh? Inside. Who can, can I go to daddy now and snatch the Holy Ghost from inside of him? What can I do to snatch the Holy Ghost from inside of him? Eh? If I abuse him, if I do everything, does that remove the Holy Ghost? But it now is not left for daddy or for anybody to what? To decide that whether offenses, whether whatever thing is going on around me, it will make me lose that recognition of the presence of everything that I need inside of me. See, everything you need for life and godliness is inside of you. <laughs> I know some of us, the race for um, what to eat, what to wear. I don't want to get into that, but a scripture that comes to mind is many times the problem we have is we don't understand the workings of the Spirit of God. He said, for I have given you the power to get wealth. We don't understand how to, how the workings of the Spirit of God is. See, brethren, I don't want to scare us. When our mom was talking about arm robbery and all that, in the night, over the night, I had a dream. And for me, if I remember my dream, it's, that thing is very important. I usually don't remember. But this one, I had to wake up. Because I saw a man that just had only one hand with a machine gun. And he, he parked in front of uh, a bank and started robbing the bank. Him alone. Do you know what that means? It means desperation in the society. If you get so, so, so tough that even the people you don't think will do the, will, the worst things, they will begin to do. So tell me, how would you be safe? What instrument did the Lord give you to be safe? The Holy Spirit. Sometimes, some prayers that we pray is very, very unnecessary if you know how to walk with the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is one that will tell you, you don't go today. Don't you used to go, but don't go today. It doesn't need to tell you that the accident is martial. It just, you will just know that, okay, don't do this. Don't say this. Don't go there. S go there. He's directing you. He's leading you. He said, he shall show you things to come. He said, he shall guide you into all truth. So that is the first thing. The first source of our joy, the spirit of God inside of me. That is the first source. The second source is the word of God. But they are, both of them are tied together. Because if you don't have the spirit of God inside of you, it doesn't matter whatever you are reading, whether you are reading scriptures or whatever thing you are reading, it does not open. There is no life in it. What we have in our hands that we call the Bible is called the written word of God. It is written. Right? What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to give the word of God, the written word of God, a voice. Right? Which we call the spoken word. Now, as much as I am speaking by the spirit of God, and as much as those that wrote the scriptures, they wrote it by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Right? It takes anybody that is hearing or anybody that is listening 
to also have the spirit of God to be able to receive the life in it. So it's not just in the multitude of reading of scriptures or how many scriptures you've read. You've read Bible cover to cover. But he said, he said, my words, they are spirit and what? They are life. John 6, 63. He said, my spirit, they are what? They are my words, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. He said that the flesh does not, does not. He said, but it is the spirit that quicken it. What does the word quicken it mean? He said, living, gives life. It's the spirit that gives life. Hebrews 12, 4. He said, for the word of God is what? Is quick and powerful. Is living and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing our son that able to the what? To the dividing of the joints and marrow. Of the soul and the spirit. To the descending of thoughts and intent of the earth. The word of God. We don't know what we have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! The word of God. Say the word of God. Do you have the word of God inside of you? Is the word of God at work inside of you? Is the word of God at work inside of you? We just don't quote scripture. We just don't read scripture because we have to have many scriptures to quote. It is the word that is working in me. He said it is God that is working in you. Both to will and to do. See. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> please. My time. My time. Please let me know how, much, how many minutes I have left. The word of God inside of us. Right? Don't forget that, let's assume, let, let me help you paint a practical picture now. So, you have the Spirit of God inside of you. You've, you've confessed Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You believe in your heart. You've received the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is, in, is at work in you. It's inside of you. The moment you open your Bible, you acknowledge. That is one of the things, probably want to note it down. Many of us don't acknowledge the presence and the working of the Holy Spirit inside of us. You must first acknowledge Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, oh, as I'm going to be reading, open my eyes. Hallelujah. As you begin to open, it doesn't matter how much you read. It might just be the first word you will read. And something will erupt. You will not be able to move on. You just know, can you do? Oh, Bible study is sweet. Bible study is sweet. Said, desire the sincere milk of the word of God. That you might grow thereby. Is that First Peter 2 2? Desire the sincere milk of the word of God. That you might what? Grow thereby. So many of us, the reason why we've not grown, and there's a there are temptations, there are trials, there are tribulations. While we are having difficulty over the present issues, is because we've not allowed the word of God to work inside of us. Is the word of God in itself that is working. You'll be wondering how come you are like this. Is the word of God changes a man. He said, when they were sick, when they were in destruction, he said, and he sent his word. And his word did what? He led them. I think Psalm 107 verse 20. He led them and set them free from what? What? All their destruction. Is the word of God. Say the word of God again. The last thing is the glory of the age to come. The glory of the age to come, the source of your joy. Each time you think about the glory of the age to come, the hope of salvation. Remember that word, hope of salvation. The joy of my salvation. See, all these things are tied together. The peace of my salvation. The peace of the Lord that passes on understanding shall keep your hands and heart and mind. The glory of the age to come. Hallelujah. Because of my time, I need to stop here. Is there any question or contribution? I understand that we, we just touched on it. And I think, I'm not sure how true is that. But concerning the word of God, when you go back home, we go over it again. Do we understand? I trust that the Holy Spirit will give us understanding. Let us go back home and ruminate on this. We can't, we don't expect to feed on 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes word of God in a week. Joshua 1 8. What did he say? He said, and this book of the law shall, 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 shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein. How many times? Day and night. To do what? To observe, to do that which is written in it. 
He said, then what will happen? He said, then thou shall be prosperous. And what? Shall have good success. Hallelujah. Any question? Or contribution? Contribution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank our pastor for the message. My mind just went to Job. Praise the Lord. Please, let us read at home. Job lost everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not, you know, uh, when the pastor started, the minister, he said when there is money, Abby, you see natural joy. Praise the Lord. There is going to be time for that too. Praise the Lord. That one can link us with the eternal joy which is joy that God gives. Praise the Lord. So that book of Job, go and note all that Job lost. Praise the Lord. At a point, because Job still stand with God. Eh? God restored how many? How many? So what will make a dollar or pound to flow? Maybe you are able to name all those things that was lost by Job. And all those things that God gave him that are double. Praise the Lord. The other country I want to give to show that this is true message. There are three that bear witness in heaven. Praise God. If you can display that for us, I think you should know this first John, second John, or third John. Three that bear record in heaven. God, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. That person that has registered in heaven among us, that anything that is giving us joy must revolve around what they have told us. The third one means our hope of eternal life in Christ Jesus, where we are going. Praise the Lord. If what is giving us joy are all this, the joy cannot die. Oh, and there is no way you will not have all all things, riches and wealth and honor, even long life. Praise the Lord. This one, they give long life. They give health. May the Lord bless his one heart. The message is all encompassing. May the Lord give us understanding to go back home and remain to them again. Don't forget what will make dollar to flow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, can we have one more uh, contribution or question? One more. One more. I mean, I can ask question. No. If there's no question, I, I might ask a question. And I can call names. I know uh, the choir members is going to look away. <laughs> okay, who can give us the three things you've said that should be the source of your joy? Three things. Mommy Daniel. You are my person now. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mommy Pius. Mommy, I'm Mommy Ekolodo. I'm Abino. Mommy Pius. Okay, mention one. Mention one. Give us one. You can help out. Yes. The spirit. The spirit. The spirit of who? My spirit. Spirit of who? Spirit of God. The spirit of God. Yes. Another. Yes. The word of God. No. The glory of the age. The glory of the age to come. Yes, my sister. The word of God. Thank you. Those three things. Uh, my assignment will be, uh, well, if we do it, I'm not promising any money. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is at least five scriptures for each of those points. Five. Bible study needs five scriptures. There are many tools you can use. We have our phones. You can search on your phone. Just search joy on your Bible app. Begin to read through those scriptures and pick out five strong ones that apply that you think it makes a lot of sense to you. Can we rise to our feet? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah. When we receive the word of God, we must give him thanks. Say, Lord, I thank you for your word. If you believe you have received it, you have, you have received his word. We've said many things about his word. It's not just about the speaker. And it's not even about you. It's about the power of the word of God. What it can do. What it can do to you. 
He said, as many that has received him, said to them, he gave power to become the sons of God, to even them that believe on his name. Lord, I thank you for your word to me. My faith reaches out to you. And I believe your word for me today. My faith reaches out to you. And I receive your word for me to just say, Lord, I receive your word. I will not forget this one. This one will not be stolen away from my heart. I receive this one. I will not forget. My joy. What is the source of my joy? The spirit of God inside of me is the source of my joy. Your word is the source of my joy. Each time I think on your word. Each time I think about what you have said to me. Each time I think about the spirit of God inside of me. Each time I think about the age to come. The glory that is to come. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for the hope of salvation, for the glory of the age to come, for your promises. Oh, Daddy, I give you all the glory. Daddy, I give you all the glory. Daddy, I thank Can you just thank him? It's a, it's, a, it's a good reason to thank him. Oh, Lord, I'm satisfied with your spirit inside of me. I'm contented with your word. I'm satisfied with your word. Your word gives me satisfaction. Your word, it gives, it gives, me, it gives me everything I need. Oh, when I have your word, when I have your spirit, I have everything I need. I have everything I want. Oh, I receive your joy today. Oh, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, I grow in the word of the Lord. I, my joy grows in the word of the Lord. My joy grows in the walking of the Spirit of God inside of me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I receive my joy. I receive my joy. Lack will not detect my joy. Event will not detect my joy. What I have and what I don't have will not detect my joy. I receive the joy of the Lord. Joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. Ready, bread, who say, Kelebo. Joy unspeakable. Riga, who shall craft their bosha. Joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. I receive joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, in areas where I've been tired. Oh, I receive joy. Oh, concerning my health, I receive joy. <laughs> oh, concerning my finances, I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with joy. As much as I'm filled with the Spirit of God, as much as I'm filled with the Word of God, I'm filled with joy, with your joy. I'm filled with the peace of the Lord. It keeps my heart. I'm not afraid of what is happening all around. I'm not afraid of what it might be tomorrow. Oh, Lord, I'm filled with joy. Nothing takes away my joy. Nothing snatches, snatches away my joy from me. Oh, what I have today does not take my joy. I have joy in the Holy Ghost. I don't have joy in myself. I don't have joy in, 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 in this church. I have joy in the church of God, in the body of Christ. I have joy in who Christ is, in who Christ stands for. I have joy in the word of God. I have joy in who he is. I just don't have joy in people. I don't have joy in what people have promised me, that this person has promised me this, or that I have this person. Oh, this person can be alive. He can choose not to help me. This person can even die tomorrow, but my joy will not be shaken. Nothing shakes my joy. Oh, Father, I thank you. Oh, for restoration. For restoration. As you are praying, the Lord is telling me, those of us that have issues, areas where you have issues, be receiving the joy of the Lord in that area. You have a child that is giving you problem. You have issues concerning a child, concerning your workplace, concerning your career, concerning your health, finances. Concerning the place you are living. Concerning a family member. Oh, I receive joy. 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 The joy of the Lord. I receive the joy of the Lord. I receive the joy of the Lord. I receive the joy of the Lord. Shabla de Sikataya da Data. Rick Debo Sipra Zufrege de Bush da Brigadosha. Rick Tasus Kadesia da Gaya da Dede. 
Ishte prebusia talaba. Akaya tadidado shiabadaba. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Can we just hold hands? Just hold somebody. We just want to pray together. Hold the person very close to you. Everybody very close to you. Oh, Father, we agree together as a church. We've heard your word. You are our joy. You are the source of our joy. You are the center of it all. We love you so much. Not because we are lovely or because that is what we are. But because you've loved us so much that you've made provision for everything for our joy. That our joy may be full. God, we ask, henceforth, from this morning, everything and anything that has been a source of sadness, that has been a source of sorrow, Lord, concerning this issue, we receive joy. We receive your joy. We receive your joy. Concerning issues that have been bringing sorrow or sadness, we say again. Concerning these same issues, we will be joyful. Our joy will be full. Our joy will be full. Our joy will be full. Our joy will be, full. Joy will be so full that people will ask, ah, what, what, what is making you so joyful? And that will be our testimony in the name of Jesus. Nothing will take our joy from us in the name of Jesus. That will give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Can we clap for Jesus? Can we clap for Jesus?